by the way, with a single word, you exit Islam. وَلَقَدْ قَالُوا كَلِمَةَ الْكُفْرِ A single word takes you out of the fold of Islam. A simple joke you do not pay attention to. You joke about the Qur'an. You joke about the Prophet You joke about a ritual. And this is something everybody does, unfortunately. And they think that, Akhi, what counts is what in, what's in the heart. Not knowing, <laughs> I hope I don't get a sucker punch. Uh, not knowing that the hypocrites were condemned in chapter 9, Surah At-Tawbah, where Allah says, وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ لَيَقُولُنَّ إِنَّمَا كُنَّا نَخُوضُ وَنَلْعَبُ And if you were to ask them, they would say, we're just fooling around. قُلْ أَبِ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَذِرُوا قَدْ كَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ Is it by Allah, His signs and His messenger, you were mocking and making fun? Do not apologize. You have exited Islam after being believers. How many of us receive such jokes on your WhatsApp or on social media? How many of us intentionally go to watch movies that mock the religion or say inappropriate things about our Prophet ﷺ? With this word, you can get mad at. The father of the bride says, I give you my, ma my daughter in marriage. Word. You say, I accept. Khalas. That's done. You're man and wife. Don't we have to go to uh, get a civil marriage? It's, no, no, no. Islamically, she's your wife. In the presence of two male Muslim uh, men, she's yours. That's it. With this word, and with this word, you break a Muslim home in an impulsive moment and in a very unsmart move when you're angry with your wife, I divorce you. You're divorced. Some of the people are like the AK-47, you know the Kalashnikov? Divorce, 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 multiple times. Alhamdulillah, now fully automatic weapons were banned. So you can't do that anymore. You can use semi-automatic. So this is problematic. With this word, people don't pay attention to. In Islam, the Sheikh has property. MashaAllah, he's very rich. May Allah Azza wa increase him in wealth. He deals in real estates. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. So I see a plot that he has. And I say, Sheikh, how much? He said, $300,000. I said, Khalas, I buy it, and I reach out to him. He shakes hands and says, I sell it. Huh? But this, there's ambiguity in this transaction, because I don't know which property he's talking about, and he doesn't know what dollars I'm talking about, Singaporean dollars, Canadian dollars, so this transaction is canceled. Kiss canceled, alhamdulillah, saved by the bell. So, by this, the transaction is done. Ten minutes later, someone comes and says, oh, I'll give you 400000 into your property. He cannot come back to me and say, Sheikh, <laughs> I cancel my, my deal with you. We didn't go and register it. We did not uh, formalize it. Akhi, the Muslim is bound by his word, by his tongue. And subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Look at the importance of the word. When the first thing you'll be asked in your grave about three things. Man Rabbuk, who's your Lord? Ma Deenuk, what's your religion? And who is this man that was sent to you? And the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, those who were fortunate, those who were practicing Muslims, those who were walking the talk, would find the ability to answer these questions without any hesitation. Man Rabbuk? Allah. Ma Deenuk? Al-Islam. Man hadha al-rajul alladhi bu'itha fikum? Who was this man that was sent to you? And he would say, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that would make your day, your future. You will have windows 
from heaven open and you'll get the fragrance and the cold, cool breeze that will make you say, oh, oh, oh Allah, make the day of judgment now. I want to go to my home. I want to see my family. I want to enjoy the rest of eternity in paradise. Mm -hmm. Those who were not walking the talk, those who used to skip prayers, those who used to deal in riba and mortgage, those who used to cheat and lie, those who lost their identity and became similar to the non-Muslims. You can't tell if they're Muslims or not. All them bling blings, bling blings, huh? whatever, and chains and bracelets and earrings and subhanallah, and you cannot tell if they're Muslims or otherwise. They would say, huh? Huh? I don't know. I saw people say, and I said what they said. And that person is doomed for a very long time. May Allah protect us. So the power of the word is huge in Islam. 